This is Brand Insider. We take you inside brands, thought leaders, and innovators to discover strategies, insight, and perspective that help drive success in today's market. Dave Duckwitz is the CEO of Citizen Hawk, a company with a single-minded focus to protect brands online and off from brand and trademark abuse costing companies millions of dollars. Citizen Hawk clients include companies from Apple to Macy's to Groupon. We captured a revealing interview with Dave that could save your company or marketing clients both revenue and brand equity. Shot on location at the Crown Plaza, Costa Mesa, Orange County. One of the ways that uh, has a very strong correlation between uh, the amount of revenue that's being lost to a particular brand has to do with the area of typo squatting. Typo squatting is when an individual registers a one-off variation or misspelling of a trademark brand and uses that domain name, if you will, to monetize it for their best interest, right? So this falls into the characterization of trademark infringement, okay? Somebody that's trying to monetize on a brand's good name in bad faith is basically infringing. Primarily, the individual companies that are targeted by typo squatters are those of e-commerce and online retail. Um, specifically because they have an action in their website that calls for you know, some type of a, of a transaction to take place, usually in the form of a sale or a lead. So when traffic is diverted away from one of these particular retailers, if you will, it's costing them revenue. Uh, so clearly the online retailers fall very significant prey to the area revolving, uh, to the activity revolving typo squatting. The average online brand has approximately 100 infringing domain names that's been registered against it, okay? This is very quantifiable. If you can understand traffic that's associated with these particular type of domain names, and then begin to go into the metrics which the internet offers in a very clear and concise way, what's the average order value? What is the conversion rate? If we have that information, we can very precisely say, this is what the brand is leaking in terms of revenue that's being diverted away from them. Case in point, without naming a particular brand, think about one of the largest online travel sites in the country. There was a one-off character misspelling, meaning one letter was transposed, and an individual was taking the traffic that was intended to go to this particular brand and sending it to their competitor. This one domain name was driving $2 million of revenue to, this, to the competitor where the intended traffic, direct nav traffic, was supposed to go to brand A, and instead it was going to brand B. And so, you know, we have examples of clients that are losing in the magnitude of, you know, anywhere from $5 million to $50, $80 million a year relating to traffic being diverted away from their brand via typo squatting. That wraps up this edition of Brand Insider. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us hear from you. Brand Insider, are you in?